We're just about a week away from the Indy 500, of course, and even though fans aren't allowed in the stands at IMS, there was still an opportunity for some race fun today, right here at the Indianapolis Soapbox Derby Mayor's Cup. Our Sarah Jones was there. Indy Soapbox Racing is back. Happy, like excited. Even though this is his first race, it's about more than just going downhill at 30 miles per hour for this 10 year old cancer survivor. Zachary was born with neuroblastoma. He was only a few months old when he went through his first round of chemo. All my brothers play a sport. I have three other brothers. They, they play baseball, football, and lacrosse. I would always have to go and watch them and cheer for them and now it's kind of cool that they have a sport, now I have a sport that they have to come and cheer me on. Zachary says he looks forward to sticking with soapbox racing. And in speaking with the returning pros... I've been racing for five years. It's easy to see why. The science behind it, the geometry, the physics, um, the thrill of going down the hill. Each racer tweaks their car to make more aerodynamic changes that will give them a speed advantage. A soapbox car kit usually runs for around $500 or more, but this league actively works towards making the sport more inclusive. The first year we had eight cars, but we've grown that through the 20 year term to have uh, roughly 80 cars so that we provide for these kids, give them the chance to, to race with us. And as for practice runs at Riverside Park? Whenever the park's open, they could come out here and practice. The winner gets this trophy for a year and then gets a smaller trophy to keep. But this future scientist says the hands-on application of science and math has an impact that lasts a lifetime. The geometry and the physics, that helped, that helped me apply the knowledge that I learned at school and soapbox and then from soapbox to school. The winning lane is... After this race, the next stop is Nationals and then the World Championship.